could try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye, you might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow, now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why is that for us, though? They are scared. It wasn't definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> oh. Definitely need that. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! 
I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? Atreus, this way. Best of luck. It seems like me, the Valir, is locked down because of us. Hmm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Keep moving. Sterling. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. sensitivity. This looks promising, right? That's well, like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. 
And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this. Me the rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Another of Cavassier's poems. <laughs> Amazing. After all my time away, there is truly nothing I missed about this place.
sorry. One more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? So, we're going to Derlin's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin. You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go.
protect us. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the all father's given name and uh, yeah, yeah. for fucking up my desk. A fine. Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead.
as I was saying. I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, here! Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Heimdall. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Atreus! Oh! 
That one was tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. That Drakius were killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there! I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. back on the track. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Yeah, covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. I 
can't believe me. Are you serious? Behind you, look out! This place is incredible. the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. on the ground. Whoa. Tracks. This must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Jump!
Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. Another Nornir chest. Aye, but no seals to destroy or bells to ring. These are different. There's a brazier to the left of the chest. Maybe you can light it? There's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? I might be able to get up there if you help me. <gasps> Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Petraeus. <laughs> Might you be able to freeze it? That was close. Try again. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye, might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? On your side, I will lift on mine. <laughs> Heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Let's keep moving. Like we found Darlin's mine entrance. <laughs> 